it's 10 a.m. and we have a full day in the train ahead of us. Which I personally don't mind. I never mind because it's one of the most relaxing ways to spend your day. The train is rocking, you read a book, you eat a little bit, you sleep a little bit. It's very, very relaxing to be in a train for 24 hours. Breakfast is served, two apples. Also, it's a very easy way to see a lot of the country in a relatively short time. We are now in Rajasthan. This is also very cool to see. There are a lot of vendors and this one's selling all kinds of snacks, but there's also one for chai and for meals. Very cool. <laughs> the one thing you really, really don't want during a long journey is to get sick. The train is actually not that bad because you can go to the washroom whenever you want, but still, it's not something that will make you happy. Also, a bus is way worse because they don't stop me a lot. So anyways, what I wanted to tell you, Kabir told me, please don't eat the food in the train. He himself got really, really sick last time he did that. So let me show you what kind of foods I do have with me to survive this journey. Kabir had a really good idea, which I haven't thought of myself before, to bring nuts and dried fruits, which is amazing. So he's such an angel. He even packed me like a lunchbox with nuts and chocolate. Chocolate. It's so, so, so adorable. Ooh, ooh. And even um, Indian sweets. I, uh, I forgot. I think this is Kajal Barfi. Cashew nut Barfi. Really, really good. And I bought some dried fruits and nuts myself. So what I have here is dates and almonds and roasted chickpeas, which I found. Some, some more apples. And what else do I have? I also have dried apricots, I think, somewhere in here. Where is it? Yeah, dried apricots. I think this should get me through the next eight hours. And also water, bring some water, a lot of water. I used to eat a lot of roasted broad beans in Thailand and China and mm, basically all over Asia, but in India they have a lot of roasted chickpeas, which I personally, I think I prefer these. Roasted chickpeas. Lots of spices, lots and lots of spices. It tastes a little bit like masala chip. <laughs> this is so sweet. I asked the family if I could take a nap in their upper berth, and they were like, sure, sure, go ahead, take a nap. Nap o'clock. It's definitely nap o'clock. Everybody's taking a nap. Look, look. There's a guy taking a nap down there. Guy taking a nap next to me. Downstairs, people are taking a nap. Here. And there. I love train rides. It's also so relaxing. The one thing I do hate about train travel is going to the washroom because I have to take my backpack. I'm not leaving it here because all my valuables are in the backpack. And then I have to I have to put on my shoes and go to the washroom, which is over there. It's not that it's like a big deal or anything, but I just hate doing it because I'm lazy. <laughs> Only one more hour to go. Time flies when you're taking naps on a train. I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous arriving in Delhi at this hour. It's going to be dark. I do have an itinerary uh, for the metro. Kabir sent me everything f uh, through WhatsApp. But still, I don't feel comfortable arriving this late in a new city, especially Delhi. <laughs> One died. This is my scariest travel story. I arrived in Beijing. It was quite early. It was, I think, 9 o'clock. And I took the metro, but I took it to the wrong way. So I went left when I should have went right. And in the end, I ended up in a closed metro station. I had to take a taxi. I took, like, one of those rip-off taxis. And I thought, like, nobody knows where I am. And, um, the taxi can take me anywhere. I was so, 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 so scared. So after that experience, I always arrange some kind of transportation if I arrive late in a new city. And otherwise, I will book a flight the next day if I can arrive early in the morning. But this time I didn't. So this is going to be an adventure. I don't know if it's going to be a good adventure. I hope so. But you never know. I mean, a cab now. Luckily, I installed the Ola cab app. Delhi is local. Delhi is Mad Max. I have never seen such a place as this. It's crazy. Google Maps is indispensable when you're traveling.
Wow, look at all the lights. That's amazing. I like that. Yes, I made it. Actually, when I was in the taxi, Delhi looked a lot better, but the train station was like Mad Max. I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I've seen Bombay, so now I'm prepared for Delhi. Nope. Luckily, I was already talking on Facebook with Anjit, who is my brother's best friend, and he comes from Delhi or nearby Delhi, and he talked me through it because I was like, I could have had a small panic attack if I wasn't talking to him. So, luckily, that's all over. Let me just show you the room. Following Kabir's advice, I paid a little bit more in Delhi because the places usually don't look like they show them in the picture. So, this is how you come in. So, here's the door, and then you come in. Here's like a sitting space with a water. What do you, how do you call that? Water kettle? Something like that. I, anyways, you boil water with it. And I actually also got some tea from Kabir, so perfect. I can make some tea for myself. Look at this chair, it's beautiful. And it looks so fluffy to sit in it. Let me just sit. You see? Yes, it's very soft. Now, for the bed, of course. This is it. It's not soft, but it's also not hard. It's fine, it's perfect. And over there, there's a little sitting area. Stains on the wall. Oh well, I can live with that. Air conditioning, which I actually don't need because I like the heat and it's not that hot outside in Delhi. So I will probably turn it off later. And then this is the bathroom. Like this. It's not too fancy, but it's good, it's good. And let me see, I also got some little goodies in this bag. I didn't unpack it because I wanted to do it together with you. So this is shower gel. And what else is in it? Let me see. What is this? Oh, it's a little notepad. Oh, this is just shampoo. And conditioner. Could it be? Could it be? Body lotion. Okay, that's surprising. Also, when you come into the room, there's a TV here, but I usually don't use it that much, so it's a nice extra. There's a restaurant downstairs next to the hotel, so let's see if we can grab some food because I didn't eat a normal meal ever since I left Bombay, so I guess it's time, right? Yes, food is in the house. This is tandoori paneer. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And then we have, I think, like a mint sauce, mint yogurt sauce, something like that. And butter naan. This is also so, 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 so good. Can't wait to eat all this. I was just looking for trains from Delhi to Agra to visit the Taj Mahal tomorrow, but unfortunately, Indian trains are Definitely not what I'm used to like in Holland in Amsterdam if you want to take a train You just go to the train station buy a ticket and there's always a spot for you and here you Have to book in advance and I'm not used to it at all. So I decided you know what? I'm just staying in Delhi tomorrow. No stress I need to buy a silver kameez anyway for the Diwali celebrations So I'll just book it tomorrow and then we're going to the Taj Mahal in two weeks Finally, a first big cow in the streets of India. Oh, so cute. Good. Oh. Happy to roast 